Who killed Brother Melon? Welcome back to Returning a Favor, in which we are investigating the murder of a Hammerite priest, Brother Melon, in this Hammerite power station. Um, when we last left off, I can't even remember what I was doing. We're still looking for clues. Uh, we haven't really found a lot. This we've been almost everywhere, I think, in this uh, power station, except for two doors that are locked that require keys. I can't pick the locks, and I haven't been able to find the keys anywhere. Uh, so we've been all the way over there. So this garden I can't get into. Well, there's a locked door there, and there's the engineer's quarters that I also can't get into because that door's locked. But uh, I have been everywhere else and explored everywhere else pretty thoroughly. I might have missed something. Anyway, right now my plan is to go down to the workshops and see if I can destroy some evidence. Um, letters from his mistress that our friend Brother Lucas had foolishly left behind in his quarters. See if I can find somewhere in the workshops a forge or something, some fire with which to destroy. It's suspicious because we're just here by the elevator. Now, is there anything underneath? No. Always worth checking. Anyway, pretty much everyone is uh, knocked unconscious except our friend here, Brother Lucas. Hello again. And, uh, Oh yeah, stop complaining. So lazy. Stupid, so lazy. Blah blah blah. Shut up, or I won't let you. I won't collect the evidence to let you free. Right. Um. Fire. Is there a fire for burning paper? There's the torches, but they're not going to work. They don't work that way. Let's see. What about in this room? Well, there's a river. Maybe I can drop it in the river, or maybe I can fall in myself. Um, that wasn't quite the plan. A strong current as well. All right, let's just climb out here. If I water isn't a good way of destroying the evidence, but let's just try it. Let's just try dropping this bit of paper in. Here we are, and it gets washed away by the current and stuck. All right, it's not working. It's gonna need fire. It's gonna need fire. Is there anything here that opens that has fire inside? It really doesn't look like it. The water wheels aren't gonna crush it there. Too big, it's too small. Eh, not really. Alright, um, I guess I'll figure out how to destroy the uh, letters in a bit. And I will keep looking for these keys that I'm missing. One of them, as I said, here is the key to the engineer's quarters. Um, I'll just double check. Well, let's put out the torch. So if I do open it, it's dark. Just double check that I can't pick it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no. That doesn't work. Doesn't work. And I can't really hear anyone in there. I'm not sure. Maybe. <sighs> All right, back upstairs, I guess. Uh, well, under the stairs, I looked here already, but you know, I'm just double checking. Who knows what I missed? I could have missed anything. I don't know. That goes back to the ground floor, but I'm going to check the loft again. Oh wait, I can't get in this side because I also need a key. But, that's right, I can get in the other side from the rafters. If I go through the kitchen. In, up in the loft was uh, Brother Gerald had uh, some suspicious looking activities. He was cutting letters out of a book. And I want to just go look around, see if I missed anything up there in his quarters. And well, I guess while I'm here I should double check all the corners of this room. The, the, Cold storage. Here's the body of our murdered friend. 
well, he's not our friend. Not a priest, nobody's friend actually, but uh, I think, did I miss anything there? What if I take him down to the library? I wonder if he'll, like his ghost will appear or something and tell us something. Oh, what's this note? I didn't see that before. Chandelier duty isn't as bad as you think, David. It's just your fear of heights. Yes, I have to get up before everyone else and crawl around those narrow ledges, but there are things that make up for it. The attic is nice and quiet. It's a welcome change to not have to listen to anyone snoring. In the mornings when I'm tending the chandelier in the atrium, I can hear birds sing in the garden through the window. I often tarry there and listen. I can hear them as clear as if I was in the garden myself. Anyway, I have to go light up those chandeliers now. See you later. Gerald. I can hear birds sing in the garden window. I wonder if I can get out that window. I'll have to check. Anyway, my plan with this body was to see, you know, uh, drop him, I'll just put him here for now, drop him in the library where he was murdered, see if that triggers a ghost, his ghost to appear, because there was whispering there where his body was in the freezer, there was whispering in the library. But first, let's climb up and check out, uh, well I want to check out both the loft at some point, but let's also see if we can check out this window in the atrium. Uh, is there no one else around? I think I've knocked everyone out. But in case I haven't, where's the atrium? Uh, I'm there. The atrium must be there in front of the chapel. No, it seems quiet. I'm pretty sure I've knocked everyone out. Yeah, there's no one patrolling here. It looks all good. So that's the atrium. I guess. it's all the way clear to the library as well. If I do want to drop this body. Oh, I thought I'd unlocked that. There we go. Yeah, so I can bring the body back here. But let's climb up my rope, get back onto those rafters. Whoops, come on, carrot. Climb up there. No, no, ow. Climb up onto the ledge, please. That's better. Alright, now along these rafters, see if we can find that window, oh yeah that's the atrium, in front of the chapel, and there we have, there's the window, can we climb out? No. Okay, we'll be able to hear anything happening out there, I can't really see anything much, uh, but we definitely can't get out that way. That's disappointing. Okay. Uh, so, well, while I'm here, why not go down my other route? It's conveniently close by, along with a convenient pile of bodies. Don't worry, they're only unconscious. Uh, so I guess back to oh, Banner. I guess. Back to pick up the body of our, uh, the corpse here and continue to take him to the library, it seems. Seems the best thing to do. Or well, at any rate, it's the only idea I have. And, uh. Oh God, I walk so slow with the body. Ah, oh, man. So he was murdered in here. Right, here is where he was hit on the head and crashed through the balcony. And he must have fallen down there. Crime scene reenacted. But nothing happened. Uh, so. Um, maybe if I pick him up again. No. No, I, and the whispering is still happening. Hmm. Well, maybe this is a waste of time. Maybe there's nothing here. Or maybe there's no ghost. It's a railing. There's the body. And, uh... 
I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can get up on the rafters there to get a better view. Just in case there's something. I don't know. Just in case I missed something. I should check out what's up there. So the whispering, like, oh, come on, Garrett, climb, climb up. Nope. Up on the ledge. Whispering makes me think the ghost is still, uh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <coughs> Ouch. Okay, let's try that way. See, so the whispering is reminding me of ghosts, just like in that uh, Thief 2 mission where there was the ghosts in the library and lots of whispering. And, uh... Well, it's a nice view. It's a crime scene. Good for investigations, but not really what I need. Oh well. I guess that isn't gonna... Help me. Let me eat my food and see if I can get some health back. Um, but now what? Health potion. Health potion. Good. So I'm not going to die from falling. At least not yet. It's always time. Uh, I guess I just need to keep searching. Uh, to see if there's anything I missed anywhere. Possible. Um, did anyone, any of these guys, have any keys on them <clears throat> that I might have missed? So you what? I'm going to take them back to their room so they don't look suspicious. You know, they're going to wake up, going to be found sleeping in their own bed. Dereliction of duty, but uh, no sign of the thief. Uh, normally, I wouldn't bother, but it just feels like, given the whole scenario here, where I'm supposed to be finding evidence and blah blah. Yeah, I've heard that already. Um, I don't know, it just seems to feel nicer. Of course, all the glute is gone, that's not really going to help. Uh, infirmary. Any keys I missed here? Because I'm sure there must be a key somewhere. What am I missing? Nothing? No secret things there? Anything around the table? Switches? No. Do you have a key, sir? You don't. I'm disappointed in you. Nothing. No kind of switches. Don't think there's any secrets there. What about the chief, uh, forge master forger? He has privacy in case he's got secrets. Uh, yeah, I've read that already. Letter from the investigator. Uh, but is does he have these switches that open secret chambers of any kind? Doesn't really look like it. No. The ledge, no keys on the ledge or anything. Not by his bed. Nope. Uh, I think there's nothing here. Alright. Let's go back up to the rafters. And as I said, I do want to check the loft again because. I don't know, I thought I searched it thoroughly, but uh, I'm, I'm clearly missing something, so I just need to keep going back all around until I find what it is that I was missing. Brother Gerald was sending the chandeliers, and he's up in this lift, and I've read that note. Uh, he was cutting out pages of a book with this, here, this library paste, and he had uh, this knife that he was cutting things out with, and... Oh, that dropped enough anyway. Let's try that again. That's better. Looks like a hazard. Uh, so he's getting up the C compendium. Uh, or the W. Well, there's a G. C G. Falsus. C. No. Uh, wait. C compendium. When the thief did cry to the master. For I repent and shall do good all my days. Then did the master strike the thief's hand. Hmm. Those don't really seem to be making any kind of sense. There doesn't seem to be a code there that I can make sense of. I all did. No. No. This is not. 
I'm missing something here. Compendium. CG full set me. <sighs> what am I missing? I'm missing something. But I'm still staring at this and it's still not making any sense. So, I uh, guess we keep searching around and a nice painting of the master builder striking a demon with his hammer. Uh, his hammer of plus five blue. And, oh, oh, uh, a ring and a pile of loot. A ring with a gem on it. Is this Merlin's ring? The murdered guy had a gem, a ring with a gem on it that was missing from his body when he was found. Does this mean... No, that's just loot. So is that not... Evidence? Uh, doesn't really tell me anything, it doesn't change any objectives, so I guess it's not. So I was going to say, anything under here? Uh, if that ring was actual evidence, would that show that Gerald up here was the one who committed the murder? But then... It's not... It'd still be circumstantial, it's not evidence of murder, it's just evidence of him having stolen property. Anyway, let's take the library paste back to the library. I don't know why it seems to make sense. Um, there we go. Library paste. Of course it belongs in the library, it's for pasting the library up. And I guess we put it here. I'll take that library. I will paste your walls. Let's search the librarian's quarters again. I don't think I missed anything. Easy to see nothing in the chest. This is a little secret stash of uh, illicit uh, material. Collected works of St. Thomas, big and beardy. She doesn't want anyone to find them, but it's not really... It's certainly not evidence of a murder, it's just evidence of his uh, interests that are not really approved of by the establishment. And although it might furnish murder motive if Merlin had found out, there's nothing, I've not seen anything at all to indicate that Merlin might have found out about this, so... I don't know. Can't even see any signs of secrets either. Uh, none of those scrolls are interactable. I do think perhaps the librarian might be innocent. Alright. So, um, is there a secret passage in this library? There should be, right? That's the first rule of libraries. But, uh, I never checked this before and I'm just, you know, checking again. Maybe I missed something. Uh, I never quite remember exactly how thoroughly I check things, so, you know, I often end up going over the same ground again. But, um, also, you know, did I miss any evidence there? There's a pool of blood, there's a broken railing, but there is nothing else. Anything else here? There's the investigator's notes, but, uh, yeah, I've read that before. Librarian found him. A lemon uh, examined the body. His gem ring is missing, and again, that's the one I thought I saw upstairs. But Lucas is a suspect, but there's really nothing, nothing new there. Uh, this is the letter that uh, Merlon sent to Brother Lucas, uh, accusing him of embezzling. But again, nothing new. Nothing that suggests where I might find the key to the engineer's room or the key to the gar the garden. What about these ledgers? No. All the this stuff is really hiding very well, isn't it?
whispering is still going, so yeah, dropping the body here did nothing. Did I miss a switch here? I missed a light switch, but uh, that doesn't help me. No secret switches. <laughs> Nothing on top. No. <sighs> Alright, where to now? Well, the garden I don't have a key for. And I can't pick it. And I wasn't imagining it. So. Ah, uh, dear. Where would the stuff be hiding? Am I blind? That's possible. I missed stuff before. But, uh. No, he doesn't have a key. Did I check the, uh. Well, he won't have a key, obviously, he's dead. Uh. The investigator. No, he doesn't have a key either. Maybe someone else has the key. Oh, I just didn't notice when I knocked him out. That's I usually notice. I guess I can check. Uh, what about you? The infirmary. No. Nope. No key. Anything <laughs> around the beds? There's nothing. Here and uh, look at all engineer. So, like, if anybody would have had a key, it would have been you. You're the engineer. You should have a key to the engineer's quarters. But you don't. You quite definitely don't. And it's not up by your bed either. Go to sleep. And the infirmarian, uh, brother. What was his name? Lemon. Lemon. Uh, but, yeah, nothing there. Gerald looked awfully pale and nervous, so I presume he's involved, but uh, doesn't mean he's the murderer. And there's the ring that I found that Gerald had. That might be Merlin's ring, but uh, I really don't know. Uh, what about... Did any of the guards have keys that I missed? Come on. No. No. Definitely not. What about you? It doesn't look like it. No. Ah, go back to sleep. You are useless to me. Alright, uh, how about the priest's quarters? Let's double check the secret room, because, you know, I thought I had everything, but maybe... Mm, yeah, there's nothing else here. Right, uh, chest, nope, not chest. Okay, uh, aha! Uh -huh. Look at that. A letter. Mullen, you bastard! I have kept my mouth shut long enough. That promotion should have been mine, and you know it. My invention got you your fancy supervisor's robes, and now you are suddenly a priest? How in the builder's name did you manage that? I know the Master Forger has ordered you to spend all your free time at the library studying the tenets. How were you able to keep your ignorance hidden from him long enough to be allowed to join the priesthood is a mystery to me. <sighs> you may have been lucky so far, but your luck will end sooner or later. I will prove that invention is mine, and when I do, your swindling career is over. Unsigned. Interesting. Oh, someone is threatening him. Could it be the murderer? Well, that is evidence that we didn't have before. Oh. There's someone new. I think he should join the rest in sleeping. And he's got a key! Which key is that? Engineer's quarters key! Hooray! Stay in the corner there. Alright, we found some hard evidence, and that seems to have triggered him uh, to start walking down the hallway. I guess he's supposed to have come in from outside. Anyway, now we can unlock the engineer's quarters. Uh, and. Yeah, this way. 
So yeah, I wasn't expecting to find another NPC suddenly appearing just because I read a letter. That's a little weird. Uh, but I guess that's a thing. I guess that's a thing. We have the key. We can now explore these other rooms. Let's save. Where is it? There! And uh, there's someone in there. So, carefully check the corners. Oh no, he's not here. Let's make a nice bit of shadow to hide in. And uh, there he is. Uh, what's this sign here say? Neville, the number two generator in the workshops, has started making rattling noises. Maybe someone <laughs> dropped something into it again. Could you check it out before it gets worse? Thanks, Frederick. Okay, uh, I might have to check that. That's, I wonder if the ring was dropped in there or something. To get rid of it. Anyway, sir, so I would like you to sleep. If you could kindly turn your back. <clears throat> Maybe I can get you Hot. from here. Be someone there? Oh, mm, be no one here. Mm, don't you... mm, I do wonder what it was, but it seems gone now. It is gone. Relax, good sir, and turn around. Warm your face by the fire. It looks lo lovely warm. And I can see a fire arrow there too. I want that. Alright, some... punk. May I have your attention, fellow engineers? I have misplaced my spectacles and need your help finding them. I remember last having them during my round at the power station, checking all readings on the machinery. Should you find them, please return them to me as soon as possible. Brother Nelson. Uh, I guess that's you. Anyway, I'm not returning them. They were gold. I want to keep them. Oh, what's this? A note. I saw you that night. I know what you did. For now, only you and I know. If you want it to stay that way, come to the garden at midnight. We shall discuss the future. Well, somebody did a very bad job of trying to burn this. Uh... Hmm. This looks interesting. Let's just grab the fire arrow. Was that your note? Are you, are you Brother Nelson? Oh, check the banner. Not that there's anything. What about a valuable statue? Right, so what are that, where's that note? There. Uh, one of the things I like is that there's the W, the I did, the double L, the words that we've still cut out of the book uh, actually line up there. Which is kind of neat. Uh, can I get up there? Come on. Get up there, go. Alright. Well, the statue's valuable. Uh, I don't think the pots and pans are. 1077 loot. That's uh, well over the uh, total we needed. The objective, so that's fine. Get somebody asleep. Let's try not to wake them. Try to make them. Let's make them sleep a little more firmly, shall we? Missed. Try again. Is that me? Hey! Oh! <coughs> Don't scare me like that, or I have to hit you on the head. Especially if I'm trying to hit you on the head when you scare me like that, it's just rude. More loot. Mm. Tasty bread. And nothing. Uh, and another letter. Joran, can you find me when you're back from your errands? I'd like to discuss the schedule for next week, and it may as well be tonight, for I can't sleep because of Frederick's infernal snoring. I'll be in the break room next door. I just heard Marvigal leave. So now I can finally have some peace and quiet to myself for a while. Neville. Uh, okay. So I guess that's Frederick. And is that is that Neville then? Uh, yeah. It must be Neville. So. Hmm. This is definitely the break room. Anything here? Nope. Just a hammer. Uh, is there anyone in this room? Uh, nope. It's all empty. 
Another badass. Lash it down. Bah. And there's another note. What does this one say? Mavigil, I do not know what you are talking about. Even if I did, what do you think your pathetic letters will accomplish? That everyone will believe that the new water wheel mechanism that they all know I invented was yours? That my promotion will be given to you instead? Please do remember that if I would happen to get upset by these accusing letters of yours, I could make things very difficult for you. You wouldn't want to spend the rest of your career maintaining the sewers, would you? Brother Merlon, priest to the builder, supervisor at Highwater Power Station. Uh, so Marvigil is uh, the person who wrote that anonymous letter, I guess, that we found before. And uh, this other letter, I think, mentioned him. Is that him? No, that was Neville. Yeah, that's Neville. I just heard Marvigil leave. Uh, so Marvigil must have just gone out uh, following that ransom letter. Oh, not the ransom letter. The cut and paste one there. Meet me in the garden at midnight. He must have just gone to meet Gerald in the garden, I suppose. Let's just see what we've got here. A bit more loot. That looks like... That definitely looks like a secret door. Where's the switch? Aha! Uh -huh. Loot. Uh, more loot. I guess there's a Marvel Girl's bed. I wonder if he was actually the one stealing from the treasury and then blaming Brother Lucas of embezzling, that would make sense. Is there anything here? No. Nope. Alright then, uh, I guess... I guess we need to go and see what's happening in the garden. Oh no, that's right, there was this thing about the number two generator rattling, I should... Is that it? There's two generators thing. They look like generators. Let's take a look. Uh, oh! Aha! A blood-stained hammer! That's evidence! Uh, no wonder it's making it rattle. And, uh, nothing else. Let's just take that. What have we here? Bloodstained hammer engraved with an M. Well, someone tried to destroy it, destroy the evidence by dropping it in there, but they didn't do a very good job. So now it's mine. So, back upstairs. And we need to make our way back up to the rafters. So we can get back up onto the window from where you can hear the birds in the garden as clear as if you were out there. And no doubt that applies to conversations in the garden as well. So we'll just climb up here. Good job, Garrett, not falling down that time. And which way was it here? Here we are. Just go and listen to this conversation. Thy trickery shall not last. Think not thou canst harm me. You've killed a brother. Murderer. That mistake shall cost thee thy life. Ugh. He's running in. Let's follow him. Uh, good, didn't hurt myself. Where's he gone? Downstairs, I guess. Yeah, he's running down the stairs there. Yeah, it's definitely down. And... Oh! What? <laughs> uh, he's... Kinda got stuck there on the barrel a bit. That's... It's not very good. Uh, objective witness, quickly see if he's still alive, and if so, take him to the infirmary. Uh, this isn't the witness, this is presumably the murderer. Uh, yeah. All new objectives. Uh, 
how curious. Go to this meeting and see what it's about. Eavesdropping is a tried and true method. Find out who really murdered Brother Merlon is ticked off now. I guess it's this guy. Ah, so Chief Engineer Marvigil, yeah. That must be Chief Engineer Marvigil. But uh, I don't really like the way he's kind of ruined the mission scripting by getting stuck there, so I'm just going to reload. Uh, it's a bit of a mess, I'm going to reload. Let's uh, go back downstairs and see if we can just move those barrels out of the way so he doesn't get stuck. And then hopefully he will run downstairs and proceed to wherever he's supposed to proceed to. And we'll be able to kind of complete the mission a little more sensibly. Let's push him in a little. Actually, let's get the other one first. I'm getting stuck now. There we go. Uh, they're very slow to move, but uh, they do move. Heave ho. Eve. Come on, Garrett, you can do it. Get it in the corner there. Hopefully that's enough. Let's push this one up. As far as we go. Um, that seems to be it. Can we get through? I can't get through. Maybe the NPC can get through. Can I break it? Nah, I just guess thought they don't break. <laughs> No, just that. Uh, maybe that'll be good enough. I hope that'll be good enough. Certainly can't push any more. Alright, I guess we can but try. Head back up to the garden window and see if we can find it. Oh, see if we can find it. See if our our uh, friend running down the stairs there can uh, find his way past the barrel. Hopefully he will. Um, but let's just grab a save before we go there, just in case. Thy trickery shall not last. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've heard all this before. Hurry up. You killed a brother. Come on, Murder. hit him. That mistake. Shall cost thee thy life. There we go, hit him. Here he comes. In through the garden door. Now the objective is just said to check the witness, so let's actually do that. Ha! He dropped the key. The key to the garden door. Let's go check on Gerald, I guess it was. Gerald, yeah. And see if he is still alive first. Check for loot. Moss arrow, but uh, there's not really anything else. Uh, so, let's take him to the infirmary, I guess, like the objective said. Not sure it'll do much good as everyone there is knocked out already, but I guess we can. Uh, it's not far away. We can sleep here at least. There. Okay, took him to the infirmary. Now what? Like, uh, the infirmary dude is here, unconscious. I don't think I can wake him up again, so I guess. Well, I hope you survive till the morning. I guess we just go after our friend and see if he managed to get past the barrel this time. Quite sure. I seem, I seem like it's kind of feels like I'm missing something. Um, but uh, I don't know what. But, uh, let's take the lift and that way we can uh, come at him from the other angle for a change. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, brother Lucas, stop complaining there. If you don't shut up, I'll uh, leave you there. I'll stop this whole investigation, and you'll be stuck there for good. Uh, not that way. Where's the stairs? Yeah. Yeah, he's not stuck here. He got past. So I guess he ran up to the engineer's quarters. Where's my key? Sorry, 
on my thing. It's not even locked. I already unlocked it. He's not here. Where did he run to? Oh, here, I guess, this room. Make sure there's a bit more shadow, so we hide Is better. There? Well, he's definitely here. Hello, sir. You are the only one left standing, so you must be the criminal. I hear thee. Look at me. Show thy. Ah, uh, what are you swinging? Take this. I <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Chief Engineer Marvel was the culprit. Lock him up in the warehouse. Uh, kind of feel like he should have said something, or Garrett should have said something to him. But uh, did he have any more evidence that he hid away in here? No, definitely not. Uh, I guess we pick him up. And uh, lock him up in the warehouse. Which is fortunately not far away. Uh, which way was it though? No, what? There. That door. No? Yes? Yes, Brother Lucas was here. In the warehouse. Hello, Brother Lucas. Here is the accused. And I'm going to lock him up now. And they should find him in the morning and then discover. I guess they might let you out, I hope. I think I deserve a pat on the back for that one. Alright, we locked him up. And the word went before. Hey, hope you're happy now. Carrying our salvation. Here at last is a man with the mind of a general. And Why don't I drop? I heard that. Stop right there. I think I should drop all this uh, evidence here. Not that I need the rosary beads, so they're not evidence. And then hopefully in the morning, I oh, that notes to me. In the morning, they should discover the pile of evidence here, exonerating you, Brother Lucas. Can't drop that. Uh, exonerating you, Brother Lucas. And then they should hopefully let you out. There should be enough evidence to prove that uh, it was Chief Engineer Marbigel uh, that did the crime. Anything else? Uh, no, that's also to me. I think that's a lot. Let's drink a healing potion. So, there's your pile of evidence. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to read your diary there on your bed, but, uh, you know, that happens. I guess that's it. Culprit's locked up. Builder, walk with thee. Well, thanks, I guess. I guess it's time to head out back down through the secret door we came in. Come on. Close behind us. And we should be. Yep, we're done. Okay. So, took us an hour and 30 minutes. We found all the loot. That's nice. Uh, we had one body discovered by enemies. I wonder if that was when I was carrying him around. I don't know. Uh, so, I don't think there's any cutscene, but let's just continue and find out. No. So that was Returning a Favor, a murder mystery by Morgan. Uh, and the murder was done by Chief Engineer Marvigal with a hammer with the letter M on it in the library. Uh, I've never really played Cluedo Hammerite Edition, but certainly uh, that uh, suspect and that weapon are not in the standard edition. But anyway, uh, that's this mission done. 
thanks again very much for watching and I will see you soon for another fan mission.